All right. Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Pauline Fu. In this video, I will show skills and concept in Chapter 3 for Microsoft Project. I will go over three items. One, create a new project plan. Two, set non-working days. Three, enter plan title and other properties. Uh, I'm going to do this by follow the instructions. Um, follow the instructions in our textbook. Uh, that is a Try to open the textbook. Okay, chapter three, start a new plan. Okay, uh, there is no data file needed. We are going to create a project uh, from scratch. Okay, so follow this step. Step one, create a new plan based on blank project. To do this, you need to access Windows Virtual Desktop by quick this link and log in with your college uh, credentials. I already logged in, so I will directly uh, click this, enter your password. All right, so after you opened uh, the Windows Virtual Desktop, click on bottom left corner, Start button, and then click Project. After that, Blank Project. Okay, and then uh, you completed step one. Try to move this window so that you can see the instructions. Okay, step one. Step two, set project start date to January the 9th, 2023. Okay, so go to project on the ribbon. Under properties group, click project information, and then under start date drop down list, select January the 9th. Twenty twenty three. Click OK button. Okay. Uh, step three: Save the new plan as a simple plan. Please add your uh, name toward the end of the name. So you need to file save as because you are using Windows Virtual Desktop. The files you saved is in one drive. Um, you need to log in one drive. Okay, so that you can see the OneDrive um, specific instructions. Please check out the lecture recordings. So for me, I created GBC on OneDrive. Then I also created Winter 22 folder and then Comp 1115 folder. The project name is Simple Project. Simple Plan. Uh, um, followed by underscore your name or your initials. All right, so that is a create a new plan and set its start date. Now let's move on, set non-working dates in the project. To set non-working dates, uh, we create a non Working Day Canada exception named Staff at Moral Event. We need to do this in Change Working Time dialog box. So how do I get Change Working Time? You go to the project, quick project. So click anywhere, then quick project. 
you have changed working time, double click. Okay. Uh, now select January 25th, 2023. It's here. For January 25th, 2023 on the calendar. So January 25th, that is Wednesday. And then under exceptions tab, type in staff at model event. And then click OK button. Okay. So this is a create non-working days calendar. Okay. Um, next, we are going to enter project title and other properties. Uh, to do this, you need to click file, info, and under here, you have project information, click the drop down list, select advanced properties. And then you have this little box. You can enter the required information. Okay. So subject is new book launch schedule. Manager. Hello, Poland. Company. Lucerne Publishing, Commons, New Children's Book for Supreme Release, for Supreme. Click OK button. So that is a uh, enter project title and the properties. Now go back, click this back button. And step two asks you to view Gantt chart for this plan and locate um, vertical current date line and the date for the model event you created. All right, so this is our project. Um, if you see on the Gantt chart, this part is Gantt chart, see this little vertical bar, dotted vertical bar, see this is a January the 9th project start date. Okay. Uh, you also have see here Wednesday, January 25th as non-working date. Remember you said that January 25th, Wednesday, as non working days, it is here. And also over here, timelines, you sh it shows the project start date, January the 9th, 2023. Okay, so that's all for this demonstration. And uh, to summarize, I go over the three tasks create a new plan set non-working days, enter project title and other properties. Thanks for watching. See you next time.